Hey bartender, yeah you, behind the screen. How do people get drunk, you know? Like, you see drunk people come and go, right? Now, I'm a Guinness man. Oh, cheers mate. But where does this alcohol go after I drink it? And why do we get those bloody hangovers the next day? Really, using me as an example, Let's think about where alcohol goes, and more specifically, the alcohol found in our favorite drinks from beers to spirits, ethanol. <gasps> well, this may surprise you, but I've already downed a few drinks tonight, and all that ethanol is now sitting in my very empty stomach. 20% of that ethanol is being absorbed directly into my bloodstream, but the majority now passing into my small intestine much faster due to not eating, gets absorbed into my blood, and journeys to my liver. You can think of the liver as your blood's favorite Instagram filter. Proteins in the liver, called enzymes, pick out undesired attributes, leaving your blood nice and clean like Maybelline. In this case, ethanol undergoes first-pass metabolism in my liver, where enzymes convert ethanol into other byproducts. I'll get to those in a minute, because since I drank more than your Irish Uncle Joey tonight, ethanol has now passed through my liver and is traveling throughout my body. One location? is my brain. The brain is just this mass collection of neurons communicating with each other via the release of chemicals called neurotransmitters. These chemicals contribute to how we think and act, some giving us excitation, while others giving us inhibition. Now, although ethanol leads to the release of the feel-good hormone, dopamine, it lowers the levels of the excitatory chemical, glutamate, while increasing levels of the inhibitory chemical, GABA, leading to experiences like slurring my words, and losing my train of... train of... as my body drifts into blissful melancholy. Until the next morning, when my head will feel like it got hit by that train I just lost. The hangover is nature's response to me screaming, I'm the king of the world, while dancing on top of your bar table. Now, there are several reasons why this may occur, each contributing in different ways. One is that drinking alcohol is dehydrating me, as I retain less water, leading to more frequent trips to your restroom. My brain starved of water, this will activate pain signals in my head. Another reason are those byproducts I mentioned earlier. During first pass metabolism, one enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase converts ethanol into acetaldehyde, a toxic compound. Yes, the body converts one toxin into another. It does get converted to a more body-friendly compound by the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase, like acetate, but depending on how much ethanol is consumed, this may lead to more acetaldehyde in my blood and affect my body in disastrous ways. And therefore, even at the molecular level, you, you are more responsible of your hangover than your drink. Oh no! Don't kick me out, I want to talk to you more about biochemistry!